Hey y'all, my name is Ashley and today I am going to be doing a fall haul and I have been holding out to do this fall haul for at least a month because I didn't want to post anything too soon. So if you want to see what I have hauled in the last month that is fall related, including products from Bath and Body Works, we got TJ Maxx, Target, I got some stuff from Sephora. Yes, I got some fall themed makeup from Sephora. If you want to go ahead and see what I have hauled, then keep on watching. So, I waited a while to post this just because I know some people get like a little bit, let's be honest, they get a little bit bitchy. And they get a little bit bitchy because they're like, don't ruin the last of our summer. I am here to ruin the last of your summer because I have a fall haul. So, I figured I would start off with the products that I, I hauled from Bath & Body Works. I know some people don't like, they don't get excited about Bath & Body Works. I am the kind of girl that does. I love their Halloween and Honestly, when it comes to Christmas time, I love their Christmas decor as well. I like a nice candle holder because I am the kind of girl that's constantly lighting candles. So if they've got spooky candle holders, which by the way, I do use year round because I am that person. So I have two different candle holders from Bath & Body Works. Now this one right here, like it, it's nice, kind of oil slick, iridescent looking. But once you like turn it on, oh, where is she? There she is. It's got a skull in it. and. People who know me know how much I love skulls and I could not help but purchase this. Now, this was a pretty penny. This was $49.95. Now, I never pay full price at Bath & Body Works. So I got this when they did their like random Halloween's 50% off and I was like, checking out. That's how I got this item along with the next. Now, this is another candle holder and this is a, you can't really see with the lighting, but once you turn it on, it's a jack-o'-lantern and it has like purple amethyst looking crystals inside. So it looks super cute. It's just glittery and purple on the inside, but gives that vibe of like that amethyst feel. Now this cost originally cost $49.95. Again, I did not pay full price for this because I am not that kind of girl. Okay. I will not spend a hundred dollars on candle holders. Okay. I'd rather spend a hundred dollars at Sephora, but I did get two smaller items from Bath and Body Works. And that is because one, I needed a soap holder for my kitchen that wasn't like the metal work. And like at Bath & Body Works, they have the metal soap holders for your foam soaps and they rust really quickly. So I really wanted a silicone one and this year they kind of launched the perfect one that would match my theme and my decor. And it is a spider on a stack of skulls. So it does make noise. It's just some creepy noises. So this was 20 bucks, but again, I bought this at the same time where all the Halloween stuff was 50% off. And then the last item I got from Bath & Body Works, because I love Loungefly backpacks, and honestly, I've recently gotten to Loungefly crossbodies, I like to put a little hand sanitizer holder that kind of goes with the bag. So I went ahead and picked up this cute skull one, and this does light up. So it does light up and just kind of flashes different colors, but I have so many Halloween lounge fly bags that this would go with. So I could not help but pick this up. Originally this was, I think only 10 bucks. Yeah, it was only 9.95, 50% off. This was $5. It's cute to put on a handbag, I love it. So speaking of handbags, I wanna go ahead and show you two different bags that I have hauled. And one is actually a gift. So my birthday was in the month of June and I know this was a couple months ago, but this is perfect for my fall haul because I have not yet used this bag. And that is this gorgeous Beetlejuice crossbody bag. This is what I got for my birthday from my sister and mother-in-law. And it is a lounge fly bag. And with the, well, Beetlejuice is actually one of my favorite Halloween movies and then with the movie coming out, I'm even more excited than usual. So this actually glows in the dark and then it does have a crossbody strap that's like striped white and black. I forgot to bring it upstairs, but as you can tell, I still haven't used it. I'm super excited to use this bag for, honestly, I'm gonna be using it tomorrow. Let's be real. But this bag, I believe originally was probably around $80, but it was a birthday gift. So there's that bag. Now, this is a bag that I bought for myself. And like I said earlier, I really like lounge fly bags. I like their backpacks, their crossbodies. 
and I love everything spooky and Halloween. And this is a bag for Nightmare Before Christmas, but it is the Oogie Boogie Dice Bag. And I actually got this off of Macari. And I saw it on there and I just could not help myself. I feel like I got it for a really good deal. I only paid, I think, $40 for it. I don't know what the original price was for the bag, but it is just super cute for Halloween. But honestly, it's really good for the month of November as well. And I know November is really far away. So this one also comes with a black and white striped removable crossbody handle. All right, so let's get into the things that I got from TJ Maxx. Now, I already own quite a bit of Halloween decor. So when I went into TJ Maxx, that's kind of not what I was looking for. I was honestly just looking for a blanket. But I did see these, and these are just some orange ceramic jack-o'-lanterns. And this is from like the Martha Stewart line. I already have quite a few items from the Martha Stewart line, which I can speak to it. It's good quality. But at TJ Maxx, this was only $10 for three pumpkins. And this is something that I actually plan on putting in my son's room because I have some decor for the kids' rooms, but not as much as I would like. And so I feel like the orange would look really good in the boys' room. So of course, I had to get the pink ones for my daughter's room. So same price, $9.95, but they're just pink ceramic jack-o'-lanterns. The last item I got from TJ Maxx is the blanket I was looking for. And I'm sure you've seen this on Instagram Reels, but I could not help myself. It is this very fluffy skull blanket. I actually have a blanket from this brand already that's just all black and furry like this. But when I saw that they had a skull one at TJ Maxx, I'm like, I have to go find this. And I went to two different TJ Maxx's to find this. And I think this was like $25, I don't know because I immediately came home, I washed it and I've been using it since. So I don't have the tag anymore, but it is just so cute and it just speaks to my soul and I had to have it. So of course, with everything coming out with fall, I had to get stuff to wear, okay? I love spooky apparel and I did find a couple items at pink. Now, one item I'm not gonna show you because I, I feel like it's not necessary to show you my panties, but I did get spooky panties from pink. They have a five pack every year. I get it every year, but I also found this super cute crop top and I can't get it in the frame, but it says treat yourself. So right here has like a little jack-o'-lantern. It glows in the dark, it says treat yourself. And I'm always like, yes, I should treat myself. So when I had picked this up, and I believe right now pink has a sale. I mean, pink honestly always has a sale. It's like Bath and Body Works. Wait, I think they're owned by the same people. There's always some kind of sale going on, but I want to say that I only paid maybe like, I paid less than $20 for this t-shirt and I'm excited to wear it. And then I also got a very cute pair of sleep shorts because they've got skeleton hands on the bum. Okay, I cannot help myself, they're skelly. So I feel like I, I don't even know how much, because I've already worn them, so I don't have the tag. I don't know how much I paid for these but I know that they've been running this sale for their sleep shorts for 15 bucks. So I'm guessing they probably were originally 25 or 30, but they got the dazzled skelly hands on the bum. Now this is not from pink, but it is from Target and I have not worn this yet, but I got this really cute Hocus Pocus t-shirt. I paid $14.99 for it, but it, it's got all the sisters on it and it says a muck, a muck, a muck. And it looks like a tarot card. Like I could not help myself. I actually went to Target to look for the Beetlejuice crew neck and I could not find it. They have two different ones at Target. One's got the sandworms all over it, which didn't really interest me because they had that one there. But once I felt like the texture of the pattern, I knew it wouldn't wash well. But then they have another one that I've seen on Instagram. I cannot find it, but it is a black crew neck nothing on it except for Beetlejuice in lime green. And that is the one I'm looking for and I still have not found it. So in my intro, I mentioned there were some makeup items and there are. So one of the items that I got, and to me, this is a fall kind of item. It might not be for everybody, but I, I have not ventured into a Mac in a very long time. But here in Houston, we have several malls. And so when I went to Memorial City Mall, I like was like, oh, a Mac store. I haven't been in forever. And I saw one of these. And this is their Squirt Plumping Gloss Stick. 
and this is the black one. So I could not help myself and I have been enjoying this product. I really want to get the green one, but it kind of adds like a darkness over your lips and it's got a little bit of a plumping effect to it. This product went viral last year for people misusing it. And this is very similar to the Tarte Plumping Stick. So if you like that, I feel like you would like this, but I like the tint that this black one gives, which makes me want to buy another. Now, I think these are about $20 each, and I honestly think it was worth the $20. So another item that I got that to me is very fall-ish is a blush. And the reason why I think it's fall-ish is because the color of the blush itself. And it is from Give by Gwen Stefani. This is the Dewy Plump Collagen Cheek Tint. And I went ahead and picked up the shade Nightshade. Now, recently I did see that all of these are on sale on Sephora, like on the app itself. I don't know about in store, but again, I was at Memorial City Mall and my closest Sephora does not carry Give products. I'm a big fan of the Give brand. Unfortunately, everything is on sale at Sephora, which makes me wonder like, are they going out of business or are they just not gonna be carried in Sephora anymore? But I got this really pretty blush and I did swatch it in store and I did see that it is kind of like, I'll show you. So it's it goes on pretty like, you know, vibrant, but as you blend it out, it is very sheer. So you get that kind of wash of a berry tone opposed to like in your face of a berry tone. But this is the blush itself. It is a really pretty color to me, like berry shades for blushes is the perfect fall blush. And that is why I picked it up, plus my love for gift products. Now, the last product is not fall themed. In fact, it's not themed for any season. But while I was at Sephora, I went ahead and picked up a refill, basically, of my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip setting spray because because this one is completely empty and I don't know what I would do if I did not have this product in my makeup collection. This is one of those products that I use to not only set my face, but I use it to kind of, I use it in between layers. So I use it to help with makeup prep, but also to keep everything in place. So now I have a nice full size bottle of my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. And honestly, I almost didn't buy it because I was tempted to try the e.l.f. version but then I was like, well, what if I waste $13 on the e.l.f. version and it's not as good? So maybe I'll get around to trying the e.l.f. version, but until then, I, I wanna have the milk version in my collection. All right, so that is my haul. I know it's not like the most exciting haul, but it, it's a realistic haul when it comes to fall shopping because not everybody's in the financial position where they can just haul everything from TJ Maxx or haul everything from Target. But this, these are the products that I collected over the month from going shopping and that were all fall themed. So if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe because I promise you there is going to be another fall haul because I'm waiting for things to come in. So until next time, bye y'all.